So guys, right now we are in the middle of Shesha. That's our localist trap yard. And guess what? We just came across a lot of gold boards that are in good condition. And the seller is asking a reasonable amount of money. Now that's a rare case here in Shesha. So before anybody else goes to that lot, it's time to jump in there and see the deal. By the way, it's your first time here in Shesha. So have some drone shots of this place. If this view comforts you, then you are at the right place. Now, what you see here is a bunch of useful stuff that's mixed together. And if you look closely, there are a bunch of those hoverboards that we are talking about. And luckily, we just brought all of them. Now, they are in different shapes and sizes. And uh, we are obviously going to bring all of them back to our workspace. But before we do that, we have to sort them out so that we know the weight of each of these hoverboards as the stuff here in Shesha sells depending upon the weight and the rate that you negotiate with the seller. You'll definitely be surprised to know how much we brought all these hoverboards for and the amount of useful stuff that we are going to salvage from them. Now for that stick towards the end of the video as I'm going to disclose all of the stuff but before we do that it's time to take all these hoverboards back to our workspace. So guys, finally we have managed to get all those hoverboards right behind me in our workspace which means that we are about to unscrew each one of them and see what we have got inside. Well, if you have been through our project videos, there have been quite a bunch of project videos that are specifically based on salvaging parts from these hoverboards and a lot of you guys have been asking where we get all these parts so today we are going to recycle a bunch of them so that we can use them later in our diy project videos the first thing that we have done is to categorize all the hoverboards we have got three categories right over here the first one is the eight inch hoverboards with normal width of uh, the motor the second one that we have got right over here is the 10 inch diameter wheel and the third category that we have got over here is an 8 inch but with a wider grip. So we are going to start with the first one. Let's undo all these 6, 7 hoverboards and let's see what we have got inside these hoverboards. Now the best part about this whole restoration is that we just need two tools to undo all of these hoverboards. So let's get started. From the first category of hoverboards, we have disassembled one of them and if you look closely, we have got three major components inside a hoverboard. The first one is the outrunner brushless motor out of which we have got a tire. The next to that is a battery pack that's a 10 cell lithium ion battery pack and uh, the third component and the most important one is a dual channel brushless motor controller now we are going to talk about all of these components in more details later on in this video so it's time to undo the rest of them and to speed up the process we are going to use two of the cordless drills so that we can have a look inside more of them in a short time So we are done dismantling the first category of hoverboards. Here we have got a bunch of outrunner brushless motors. Next to them are the battery packs. We have to check the voltages to see which one of them is probably in working condition. But uh, here we have got an interesting thing. Remember in the beginning I've told you that uh, usually those self-balancing scooters are controlled by twin channel sensored brushless controllers. 
Now these are one of them, but uh, as we were opening these hoverboards, we noticed that we have also got these single channel sensored brushless motor controllers. Now the twin channel ones are useful for projects like this go-kart that we have built in one of our earlier project videos, while this single channel brushless motor controller can be useful for projects such as this drill press conversion for which we have used an RC car controller which is not a good idea because these controllers do not handle high voltages compared to them these single channel brushless motor controllers that we salvaged from obviously scratch is really useful and they are dirt cheap so the next thing that we are going to do is the second category of overboard which is the 10 inch wheels so let's get them dismantled Out of the second category of hoverboards, we have got handful of 10 inch hoverboard motors while the rest of the stuff is usually same like uh, these twin channel brushless speed controller. We have also get single channel brushless controller with this one. But the thing with this category of hoverboard motor is that uh, they are uh, in pretty incomplete condition. That's why there are lesser batteries compared to the pair of wheels we have got over there and so is the case with the speed controllers the rest of the stuff is just laying on the floor so it's time to undo the third and the last category that we have got over here So everything useful out of this lot is on the workbench behind me which minus these plastic casings that's obviously going back to the scrapyard for recycling. These gyroscope boards as we don't know what to do with them right now but definitely we are going to later figure out in one of our project videos. And if you have any suggestions don't forget to drop them in the comment section down below. Last but not the least those aluminium frames that builds up the whole whole boards they are made up of aluminium and soon we are going to recycle them by building a diy induction furnace out of an induction stove a broken one so for a bunch of recycling stay tuned for our upcoming project video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon well now before i show all the useful stuff to you guys I would love to thank JLC PCB for making this learning curve possible for all of us. JLC PCB is one of the largest PCB manufacturer around the globe, providing their finest quality services right at our doorstep. We have partnered with JLC PCB for the last three years and there have not been a single glitch in their services, whether it's customized printed circuit boards for our project or their assembly. So don't forget to visit jlcpcb.com to get great deals on your order. The link is in the description below. So our workbench have never been this pretty before. Well, that's the dream of a DIY. So let me show you what we have got over here. As you can see, the first useful thing that we have got here is the outrunner brushless motor that has a tire over it so that it can drive the cell balancing scooter. Now, if you see, these are quite a different bunch of motors and as I've told you we have got three different categories of the hoverboards uh, corresponding to a different diameter of uh, the tire that we got on each one of them. Starting with the 8 inch we ended up on 10 inch but you will be surprised to know that all of these tires have the same 
brushless motor within and that's rated at 350 watts of power but believe it or not we have modified these motors and consumed up to 2000 watts of power well eventually we ended up burning these motors due to the lack of heat dissipation but uh, that's what we have got inside now you see there are permanent magnet inside of these brushless motors so that the stator is steady while the outer side of the motor runs so uh, as you can see over here these are censored brushless motors but you can also operate them using a sensorless speed controller now we have done quite a bunch of hacks with these brushless motor like building a DIY electric bike or converting a conventional drill press using this uh, outrunner brushless motor so I'll drop down the links to all that projects in the description below so don't forget to check them out talking of the speed controllers here we have got quite a bunch of them some of the hoverboards were missing with the speed controllers but still we have plenty of them now starting with these dual channel censored brushless speed controllers we have tested these speed controllers and they can have an output of around 2000 watts on each of these channels now these dual channel speed controllers are really useful when you need to control two brushless motors simultaneously on the other side we have got these single channel censored brushless motor controllers which as i've told you can be useful for purposes like uh, driving a single motor on a drill press or a different tool so we are going to provide you more detailed information about how you can modify these speed controllers and reprogram them for your purpose and you can get them dirt cheap from the scrapyard as i've shown you so don't forget to check out the instructables link in the description below for more details about all of this stuff now moving on the last component that we have got out of this lot is these lithium ion battery pack that's built out of these 18650 cells now these battery packs are configured at 10 cell in series while two cells in parallel so that we have a total capacity of around 150 watt hour now each of these cells are rated at 2.2 amp hour and uh, while we were checking these battery packs we have found that most of them are not holding a good voltage which is a good indication that these battery packs are not uh, in pretty good condition but we have also got some of the battery packs that are holding a good voltage so hopefully we'll get them working in one of our DIY project videos so that's our take on salvaging this much amount of useful stuff that can be a heaven for a DIY so if you are interested in more of such kind of DIY project videos or the tour of our local scrapyard Shersha then let us know in the comment section down below we'll definitely bring those videos for you guys I'll see you soon in the next one so stay tuned Guys, just check out the size of these engines. They are even bigger than this Prius.